Usually a project in Cubase can be rather large and it doesn't all fit on the screen. There are times when you're going to want to zoom in and take a closer look or zoom out and get a better idea of the full picture. Well, how do you zoom in and zoom out? It turns out that Cubase has numerous ways. And I'd like to show, oh, about seven different ways right now of how you can do zooming. And again, when you're doing your workflow, it's great to know the various ways so that you can do the work based on where your hand is most convenient and just do it quickly and easily. So here we go. The first method is by using the slider that's at the bottom here. In the bottom right hand corner of the project zone, you can see that there's a slider. You can hold on to it and drag and you see it zooms in. Go to the left, it zooms out. You can also click the buttons plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out. The next method, which is very common, and I'd like to use this a lot actually, is using the letters G and H. If I type G, you zoom out, and type H, you zoom in. It's really nice and handy. Next method is when you have your mouse up on the ruler, you can click in the lower part of the ruler and then drag either down to zoom in or up. You drag up to zoom out. That's also a very easy, fast way to do it. Okay, the next method is using the zoom tool. If you go down into the project and you right click and you can move over to the icon that's a, that's a zoom. This is where you can get a close-up. I just go to it and I will now click down and drag and now I'm going to zoom in to the area that I let go. So it's going to be from measure, what is that, about 50-ish to about 75 or so. And there it is, 55 to 75. Now you can't zoom the other direction when you're using the icon. It's only one way. If you happen to have a mouse with a scroll wheel on it, you could use that to zoom in and out. And the way you do that is you hold down the control key and then you go to the mouse and you slide the scroll wheel up or down to zoom in or out. Okay, the next method are using presets. Down below when I was showing this slider, to the left of that there's a little disclosure down arrow you click on that and you could choose various presets. On this particular machine, I happen to have two. There's the zoom full and zoom to locators. I'm going to zoom full and you'll see the entire project. There it is. The whole project is in place. And I could have done the other one. I'll click it and choose zoom to locators. And where's the locators? Oh my gosh, it's right here. Let's, let's make our locators a little bigger. I'm going to drag this here. So from bar 49 to 65, go down, zoom to locators, and there it is. And the whole screen is now filled with that range. When working with a preset, you could also define your own. And let's do that. I'm going to move this up a little so you can see this drop down. I can create my own by clicking the Add button. But first I have to create one. Let's move, I'll tell you what, I'll move this bar 60 and I'll move this left locator to bar, oops, I missed it. Move the left locator to bar 58. So that's two bars worth. Now that I have the two bars, I will first of all fill the screen with it by zoom to locators. You can see 58 to 60. Now that I've done that, I will add my own, add a new one. Oh, I've already done it here, two, two bars. What I would do, you see, you go to add, and I'll just type another one, another two bars. It's re kind of redundant there. But now that I have that, let's zoom a different direction and pick a different area. Let's pick, here we go, on bar 33. If I wanted to work from a range of two bars around 33 in the middle, all I do now is go to the preset here and pick another two bars. And there it is. It's surrounding bar 33, the two bars worth.
And it's not only with bars, but I could also do it with time. Uh, let me just change my ruler from bars and beats to seconds. All right, now that I've done that, let's say I want it to be, oh, say, how about 10 seconds worth. So I will do the same thing. I'm going to set my locators from there to here. That's 10 seconds. I will first fill up the screen with it, zoom to locators. Now that I have done that, I go down and I'm going to add. It's uh, 10 seconds. Okay. Now I can easily go, let's, let's do another 10 seconds. Say at the two minute mark, I want to have 10 seconds, five seconds on either side. I simply go to the preset that I just created, 10 seconds, and there you have it. It's approximately 10 seconds total range. And if I don't like it, for example, I have this duplicates, I can go to organize and in there I can delete the one, like I don't need another two bars, I'll take care of that, it's gone. So that's many ways that you could zoom in and zoom out. And I recommend you play around with them and try them out. Happy zooming. Check out my new course. It's called Cubase Overview. What it is, what it does, and what version to use.